Welcome back to the video, and in today's video, we're going to be ranking all these custom-made NFL logos on the tiers that are shown right here, from S all the way down to D. I don't know exactly who made these logos, but whoever did make these logos, thank you so much. I really do appreciate whoever made these logos. Um, great job on them. Basically, these are all custom-made uh, NFL logos for every single team, and we're going to be ranking them on the tier of S being the best and D being the worst. Before we start getting into this video, I just want to say, first of all, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. The growth's been amazing, but let's keep it going. We're on the road to 600, so if you are new and you like the content, please share to subscribe. Like this video and also comment down below what you want me to do for NFL or any other content next. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I also like how it's not in alphabetical order, makes it a little different than normal, and I'm just going to give you guys my honest take. First one up, we have the Denver Broncos, and I actually really do like this logo. It's simple, but I actually do like it. I like how you have the Denver Broncos D, like Denver, then you have the Bronco coming out of the D from that like hole that's in the D. I think it's a really clean logo. I'm going to give it an A tier. I'm going to say, uh, I mean, A tier is realistically above average. I think it is above average. I don't think it's one of the best out there. But I think it's an, a, a solid logo, and I think it, it was really creative what he did with this logo. Next up, we have the Detroit Lions. I, I think this is a B tier. I think it's average. I think the line isn't as good as the regular line that they have right now. But it's not a terrible design as it's the logo. Um, I don't think it's terrible. I just don't think it matches to where it is currently because they're very, very similar logos. But it's not bad. It's decent. Next up, we have the Green Packers. Ooh, this is terrible. This is bad. I gotta give this a D. I'm sorry, Green Bay, but... Uh, so basically, what you try to do is make uh, the G, the end of the G, into a football to try and, like, round it off. I get the idea. It didn't work out, though. It doesn't look good. It looks quite childish. Not my favorite logo at all. D tier. Next thing with the Texans, um... I couldn't tell what team this was for a second. Then I realized it was actually the Texans. Uh, probably D tier. I mean, I don't really like it. I couldn't tell what team it was for a second. I kind of get it, though, because, like, the T kind of makes out, like, the nose and the eyes of the Texans. So that idea is cool. I just don't think it really played out too, too well. Next up, we have the Colts. I mean, it's fine. P probably a little below average at C tier. It's fine. It's just, it's just basically a sideways Colt. With some holes in it. It's nothing special. I, I I actually understand now. It's the horseshoe. But they flipped it sideways to make it a C for the Colts. Actually, I'll put that in B tier. I didn't realize that till now. And that's actually pretty creative. I, I, I understand that a little bit more now. Next to be the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is really nice. I really like it. I'm going to give this an S tier. I think how they portrayed... The character of the Jaguar is how, was amazing. I mean, I like how on the side you have a little bit of, like, scratch claws almost like um, on the side of the Jaguar's face. I think that's really cool. It makes the Jaguar more fierce, and I actually really like this one. Next to the Kansas City Chiefs, I'm going to put the Chiefs one in B tier. It's nothing crazy. I don't think it's bad, but in my opinion, it doesn't get into that high logo echelon. I think the Chiefs logo is pretty boring in the first place. All you did was really kind of change the colors, made it a little more different. I get the idea. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Next up, we have the Chargers, and this is a weird one. I get it. It's like a it's like a bowl, and it has like the Chargers logo inscribed with the colors of the Charger. It just doesn't look good. I'm going to give it a C tier because I think it's creative at least, but... It doesn't really look that good. It's like they go like a bull with the charger with the as the horn. It doesn't really come out too too well, but I still think it's a decent attempt. Next up is the Los Angeles Rams. I'm putting the Los Angeles Rams in A tier. Again, kind of simple, but I like how they actually made the A go as a ram because I think that the regular L A Rams logo is like that, but it doesn't show as much that there's a ram on the back, and I really like. How they got like the stripes and stuff like that perfectly unique to make it so it actually looks like a ram. I really like that idea. It's simplistic and it's nice. Next to we have the Oakland Raiders. I mean, this is kind of kind of a lazy job, honestly. They kind of like put like blocks together for the Raiders, which is just okay. It's kind of similar. I guess I'll give it a C tier. It's not quite D because at least it's it's decent. It's just I was expecting more, and for a custom made logo, it's not that much different. Honestly, they may just made it worse. Next up is the Cardinals. Uh, they kind of just like squished his face a little more, and they made him a little more uh, rigid and a little more like I don't know what the word is, but like 
like in depth. I don't really know how to say that, but that's my opinion on it. It's not bad by any means. I give it a C tier, but it's definitely below average. It looks a little funny in my opinion. Next up, we have the Dolphins. I really like this Dolphins one. Not quite an S tier, but I think it's a solid A tier. I think that looks a little cartoony, but I think that's the point of all these logos. That's why they look, 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 look a little bit off, because they're meant to be custom made. I don't think it's a bad logo by any means, though. I mean, I like the bright colors of it. I like the dolphin coming out of the water. I like the sun. I think it's it's a nice logo, though. Next up, we have the Vikings. I do not like this at all. I think it's a C tier. I don't think it's quite a D tier, but it just looks weird. The Viking does not... It just looks weird. The Viking has, like extra hair in the back for some reason and it just does not did not come out as well as you would think it's not ter i'm gonna retract my statement it's a b tier it's fine I, it just looks a little weird at first glance next up be the patriots this is like isn't this like their old logo that they used to have it's fine I, i'll give it a b tier because it's kind of average i was just it's, it's not the logo i was expecting and it doesn't look that crazy to me Next up with the New Orleans Saints, I get the idea of this one. They used to have that uh, that kind of like fence looking thing as their logo. Now they have they put it into a football. I get the idea. Creative is nice. It's quite boring though. Do I put it in B or do I put it in C? That's the two ranges I'm behind. And I think honestly the the uh, the Saints logo that they have right now is better than this. So I'm gonna put it in C tier. It's not bad. It's just not one of my favorites. It's it's very very boring. Next up with the New York Giants. Actually, an insanely good logo. This is smart. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. See, so well, first of all, you have the New York at the end and the Y, and then you have the N and the Y, those two end of the letters coming together to make maybe a tall building. It's New York. They have a lot of tall buildings. Maybe that's the Empire State Building. I don't know what it is. And then you have, look at that, an animal. I think it's, a, I think it's King Kong, which is a giant. That makes sense. This New York Giants logo before was super 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 boring now you added it you made it actually look like a giant that is an incredible technique i'm putting this in s tier might be one of my favorites i'll rank the the players in s tier at the end that is incredible especially for that kind of logo next to the new york jets it's fine i get though at the end at, at the top of the end why they have like the jet top of it i get it i guess it's a cool technique i'm not I, i'll give it c tier their logo is just kind of already boring so how much more worse can you get they should have done something like the like the uh giants one that one was incredible next to be the eagles i mean this just looks the same maybe it looks a little different looks the same as the normal logo i'm gonna give it just a straight b tier because it's not bad it's just for a custom made logo it should be different so although i like the eagles logo i'm not gonna put it in a or s because they didn't change anything about it next up we have the pittsburgh steelers i kind of get it now you got the p you got the three stars there in the main logo it just looks a little funky i'm gonna put this in c tier i don't think it's in a bad attempt at by by all but it doesn't look as good as its regular logo so i think it's just a c tier Next up, we have my Niners, and oh my, I feel disrespected with this logo. I feel disrespected. This is horrible. I mean, this is terrible. You got the oval, then they try to make, like, the, the the Giants SF, and it just looks terrible. I can't even tell what letters those are. That's a D tier. I love my Niners, but that is a terrible logo for them. Do not invent that, please, Niners. Do not. This is just horrible. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. This one's clean, though, and that is the Seattle Seahawks. You have the Seahawk with actually using their jersey of the light green. That is such an amazing jersey incorporated in the logo, which I think is beautiful. And then you have the S at the end of the bird. I really like that. I'm going to get that S tier. I have no problem getting that S tier. That's a really creative logo. Another one that I actually do really like, the Falcons. It is known as a boring logo. Now, what I don't understand, and this is why I'm going to put this in A tier, not S tier is because it looks a little weird it doesn't i don't understand the significance behind having those like two like sharp things in the back of its head i don't understand that but as as, as a logo i actually don't mind this at all i think it's a really good logo maybe it's like a bat i don't really know what it's meant to be but i think it's a really good logo and it's a good take on the falcons logo next up we have the buccaneers it's not bad it's, it's, it's kind of similar to the eagles it just looks like their old logo maybe it looks a little different it definitely does you can see the differences, but it's nothing crazy. It's not a big enough difference for me to really rank it fairly. Next up, we have the Titans. I mean, it's okay. I I don't I, I like the idea of it. How instead of having just a, just the Titans with the skull, they actually have a man like a Titan, actual man. 
I'll give it B tier. It just looks a little, little weird. I, if, if there was a guy with, like, a titan, like, a guy I was expecting, like, a beard and, like, a, a helmet on them, I think that would be sick. But don't think it really translated too well, but it's, it's definitely not bad. Next up, we have the Washington Red Tails. It's, it's the Washington Commanders, whatever. Um... It's not bad, I guess. There's not a lot you can do about the logo because of its historical difference. Not nothing bad about that. I'm just saying they had to change it. So how are you gonna incorporate uh, the commanders into this? I guess they command because they're like a, a they're like a, com- like commanders. Like they're on like the jets. They're in like the navy. I I get it. I guess, but it's nothing crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and see here. I think the, the 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 old logo is better, or their current logo is better. Next up, we have the Ravens. I actually don't mind the Ravens one at all. Now, is it that good? No. I think they should have incorporated a little bit more of the purple, but then you don't really want to make it look like the old logo, so I guess I get it. I don't think it's terrible. I just think it's a, it's a B tier. Uh, they went for a little more of the black theme with the Raven. I do see some purple in it, though. It's not terrible. It's just not my style. Next up, we have the Buffalo Bills. Um, yeah, it just feels a little cartoony. I'm going to put it in C tier. feels a little cartoony, in my opinion. It's not bad. But I think they could have incorporated the ball a little better. Color choice was not great. I don't think the red bull makes it look like the Bills. I think it should have been a blue one, or at least like a blue with that um, the like the the white thing that I can't tell what it is, but the white thing. Next up, we have the Carolina Panthers. It's fine. It looks more like I hate I hate to say this, but like dead. I guess like it doesn't look like it's alive. The Panthers one. It's not bad, though. I'd give it still a B tier. It's just similar to the Eagles and the Bucks. There's not a lot of change. Next up is the Bears. I really like this Bears logo. I'm going to give it an A tier. It's not quite an S tier because it, I think they have an alternate logo that kind of looks like this. I think it's a really smart idea, kind of similar to the Denver Broncos, honestly. You have the letter of the C, and then you have the animal coming through the letter of a bear, and that is, is a pretty good bear. I'm going to give that an A tier. Next up with the Cincinnati, uh, is this, I think this is Cleveland and then this is Cincinnati. Cincinnati, I guess you have the bear marks on it. I don't think it's as good as this logo right now. I'll give it a, I'll give it a B, but it's, it's, it's definitely not as good of a logo as they have right now, which I think their logo right now is really good. Next up we have the Cleveland Browns. This is terrible. This is a D tier. They cannot get it right with their logo. They have, it kind of similar to the Niners one. They have the C, then they have the D on the outline. Oh, no, that's a B, Cleveland Browns. I don't know why I thought, I thought that was a D. I thought that was like Cleveland with the D at the end. It's, yeah, Cleveland Browns, it doesn't look good. The C, B, doesn't, can't even tell what team that is, honestly. I thought that was the, the Cincinnati at first glance. And then the last team, the Dallas Cowboys. This is horrible. Uh, this is also a, a D, in my opinion. You have the D with the star. Their, their old logo is so much better. Just roll with that. Even though it's boring, just roll with that. This is horrible. And that's the end of me writing every single custom NFL team logo. In my top three, I guess with these three teams, I would go Giants at one because I think that was so creative, especially with a logo that doesn't have a lot of uh, aesthetic in the actual logo itself and their real logo. And then I put the Seahawks at two and the Jags at three. So that's my, I guess that's my list. Um, and I honestly don't think that's a bad list. I think that's exactly what I put there. And that's the end of the show. Comment down below where you would have put all these logos. Thank you again for whoever made this. And I hope you guys are all having a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.